howdy hey, how is everybody doing and welcome back to Disney Daily. Disney's Encanto is a movie that focuses on a magical family who all seem to possess a magical ability, all except for the main protagonist, Mirabel. However, despite her lack of power, it is up to Mirabel to save the family's magic, which is in danger. Now, since the release of the trailer, I was inspired to make a video focusing on the various characters who we now know officially to be the magical family. In today's video, I want to discuss not only who they are, but what powers they possess or could potentially possess in the future. Now, even before the trailer dropped, there was a picture released that displayed the whole entire family tree. And that same picture is seen hand painted on the inside of the magical house. This particular image will be very helpful as we go through each of the family members in a more organized fashion. So without further ado, here is the magical family tree and their magical powers. First, let's start with Mirabel's abuela, who is at the top of the family tree. In the trailer, she is portrayed as the historian in the group. She is the only one who seems to know the background of how their casita came to life as well as how the family got their powers. What's interesting is that we don't see a designated power that is displayed by Abuela, but my guess is that she shares powers similar to that of each of her children, Peppa Mirabel's aunt, Julieta Mirabel's mom, and Bruno Mirabel's uncle. Now let's move on to Mirabel's mother. Her mother's name is Julieta Madrigal, shown in an all blue attire. Now Julieta's ability is the power to heal others through the food she cooks, which I would argue is probably one of the most significant powers to possess. And it is because of this unique and powerful gift that she has taken on the role as the town's doctor. I must also add in that I find her power to heal very symbolic since mothers and mother-like figures are usually the ones we turn to when we are in the most pain or have gone through traumatic experiences. The next family member I am going to focus on is Mirabel's father, Augustine. Augustine's powers are not brought to the forefront in the trailer, unlike the rest of the family members. This is because Augustine is just an ordinary man who married into the magical family, which means he doesn't have any magical blood, meaning he has no magical ability. And this actually explains why Mirabel doesn't have any magical powers herself. Next, we have Mirabel's older sisters. First, there is the elegant Isabel, who is practically perfect in every way, as Mirabel points out in the film's trailer. Isabel is shown in a long purple dress and a purple flower in her hair. It seems seems Isabel's powers besides perfection is her ability to control plant life, which is why flowers bloom wherever she goes. In several articles online, it states that although she is seen as the golden child, she feels trapped, which makes sense given that many of her family members probably hold her to a very high standard. Mirabel's next older sister is the powerful Luisa, the middle child who is shown wearing a white top, blue skirt with a short ponytail. Luisa has been gifted with the power of super strength, which is on full display in the the movie's trailer when we see her pick up not only a herd of donkeys in the town, but a massive bridge made of bricks. Then there is Mirabel herself, our main character, who we know doesn't seem to possess any magical power, and that is something that upsets her deeply. However, she is the only one who can save the family's magic, and I am thinking by the end of the movie we will know what her extraordinary gift is. The next family members I am going to focus on are Mirabel's aunt and uncle, Peppa and Felix. Uncle Felix's circumstance is very similar to Mirabel. Mirabel's father, Augustine. He too is just an ordinary man who is married into the magical family. Felix is the life of the party who loves to have a good time, but he also seems to ground his wife, who is very different from him. Felix's wife and Mirabel's aunt is the lively Peppa, who is the woman you see shown in a bright yellow dress with long reddish brown hair. From all of the articles I have read, Peppa is described as very emotional and dramatic, and her magical power is that her emotions control the weather. So when she is very sad, it is a torrential downpour poor. But when she's happy, it is nothing but sunshine. Then we have Felix and Peppa's kids and Mirabel's cousins. The oldest is their daughter, Dolores. She is depicted wearing a bright yellow top, long red skirt, with her hair perfectly pinned up in a ponytail. It seems that Dolores knows everybody's business and this is because her magical ability is enhanced super hearing. The middle child is a young boy named Camilo, who has very curly brown hair and is seen wearing a yellow sarepa. One of the writers explained that this character came about because they were interested in a teen who doesn't quite know who they are yet and are trying on a lot of different personas. Which is why, funny enough, his magical power is the ability to shape shift, which we witness in the trailer. Now, the youngest sibling and member of the magical family is Antonio, shown wearing a yellow top and brown shorts. His magical power is being able to communicate and understand animals. He is the closest to Mirabel, and this is because the two have spent the most time together in the Casita's nursery. You see, one of the writers revealed 
that in the movie, when you receive your magical gift, what comes along with that is a new room in the home for you to use your gifts in. As a member of the family who didn't get a gift, Meribel didn't graduate from the nursery, so she's been living alongside Antonio. The writer also went on to emphasize the close relationship the two have and how Mirabel is like an older sister to him. Now, the last person I wanna discuss in the family tree is Mirabel's outcast uncle, Bruno. Bruno has the ability to see into the future, and because of that, he oftentimes can predict when bad things are going to happen. These predictions are not well received by the family, and so because of that, he disappears and no longer speaks to his family. This explains why he is left off of the family tree painting inside of the casita. In the trailer, we see Mirabel reconnecting with him, and he seems to provide answers to the mystery surrounding the magic disappearing. Well, that concludes this video for today, but I hope as we get closer to the movie's release date, we will find out even more information about the family. Please let me know down in the comments what power you think Mirabel will possess. As always, thanks for being my guest here at Disney Daily. Until next time.